All right, y'all. As the title of the video suggests, we're going to Arizona. But first, I'm gonna get all this braided up. We already made it out to a road near Tucson. We already got our first snake. This is a tiger rattlesnake. snake. Snake two came in handy because this is the most toxic rattlesnake snake in America. But uh, yeah, you know, we're gonna keep cruising, see what we find. Second animal caught this uh, poor will bird. This guy just uh, snatched him as he was lying across the trail. Very cool. All right, just another second look at the uh, the bird. Pretty cool. Is this an adult? Yeah. All right. Yeah, adult poor will bird. Found lying across the trail, so we'll release, we'll release him. Once we're done with this, but yeah, he has these little whiskers on his uh, beak. <laughs> Fish guard, these guys are insectivores, right? Yep. Yeah, they eat a lot of bugs and well, they're nocturnal. actually help them detect. Uh, they do. Uh, um, they will. I think they sense vibrations of uh, uh, insects in flight thanks to those whiskers. All right, guys. Uh, next to the cactus. Next catch. This uh, pretty big Sonoran desert toad. This thing is huge. This is the biggest U.S. toad I've ever seen. Way bigger than ones I've seen in California. Easy. Y'all think? Uh, dude, that thing is sick. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's crazy. Another snoring green, snoring desert toad, I mean. Caught. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one, I think, that I held. Put him back. Actually, I think he was going this way. Oh no, he's going this way. Never mind. All right, next take found an even bigger tiger rattlesnake than the one we caught earlier. Check this thing out. Woo! Bring him down. Uh, I don't know. Woo. All right, y'all. So we were going down on this road. And we just came across this. This is the northern black-tailed rattlesnake, Crotalus molossus. Check this thing out. This is so cool. This is uh, probably a good size uh, adult, maybe three-foot snake. They can get a lot bigger than this too. But yeah, check this animal out. Super neat uh, creature. Look at them. Again, a close up of the head right there. And you can see that classic black tail that they're named after. What I'm holding right here. Check that thing out. Super cool animal. So uh, yeah, we already got hella photos in and videos too. So we're probably just gonna release them uh, back uh, across the road to see his night. You know, hopefully get something to eat. But yeah, pretty cool animal. Hey. <laughs> Already got an animal. It's pretty cool. What what kind of deer is this? White tail. Got a little white tailed deer right here. Pretty cool. It's like a doe. Look at its neck. Imagine it survived the puma attack. <laughs> All right, so right now we're just uh, hiking in this uh, canyon area, hoping to see some snakes. You know, particularly a brown bond snake. I'll put a photo up what that looks like right now. But uh, yeah, hopefully we find one. A little world gig beetle right here. I've actually never seen one of these in person yet, so that's pretty cool. These guys, they live on the surface of the water. And they can actually see both underwater and above water at the same time. So, yeah, they eat, like, you know, insects that are falling into the water, dead or alive. Pretty cool. Gosh, guys, we just caught this uh, fringe toad lizard. And fringe toad lizard because you can see the fringe on their toes. Helps them uh, keep traction in the sand. They can actually dive underneath it, too. It's pretty cool. Let's yeah. look at this... Uh, Blizzard, not sure entirely if it's a fringe toad, but we'll identify later. I'll put the species name on the video. Uh, other than that lizard, not much else was seen. But yeah, we're just going to go back to uh, the motel, rest up, and then we'll pick it back up in the evening. Y'all going to see what we do. No, Dead coral snake. Like, I don't collect these. Yeah. No, we don't collect these. Yeah. It's got a nice aberration on that band there. Yeah, so, uh, that Hopkins band. Alright 
Shaw, so we were trying to go to the second spot. And as we were turning around to uh, see a, uh, a road-killed snake, I caught this thing. Check this coach whip out. This is Master Scovis Pajum. Snakes out here. The coach whips out here oft can often be a solid black. But this is super cool. But in a way, even crazier, is this massive red coach whip. This thing is probably five foot four. It's a little bit taller than me. Damn, this is kind of a shame we found him uh, deceased, but this thing is huge. But yeah, this is actually my first ever coach trip, so I'm actually kind of giddy about this. But yeah, I'm gonna take a you know quick video. I already got my photo in. But yeah, then we're gonna let him uh, sweep back in his trees. I know I kind of disturbed him in his slumber. But yeah, super cool find. Let's keep going. All right, well, we uh, had our fun with this coach whip. Now we're gonna put him back to sleep. You know, so hopefully uh, it's a more peaceful night from here on. But yeah, super cool. There he goes. Oh, my first ever coach whip, that felt so cool. All right, yeah, dang. These things are great climbers, great swimmers, and obviously great at uh, land movement. These guys are crazy. Okay, next find while we was uh, hiking along the uh there's a desert flat area we've got an arizona blonde tarantula i believe and fauna palma uh, child codes pretty cool these guys can live for uh decades so i may be a female i'm not really sure though to be honest looks too big to be a male but yeah we'll let her go all right pretty cool finder tonight it's a big wolf spider right here i think it's actually pretty big I can see him right there. Uh, I'm gonna do a size comparison. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can feed him real quick. Let's see if he'll take this moth right here. Oh, got it. Nice. There's a moth. Uh, yeah, prancing around. Let's see if he'll take this. Oh, he got it. Oh. Third one. No way. Oh, this guy's been going crazy. What the heck? What's all spiders eating good tonight? Holy. All right, y'all, got the snake safely secured so I can transport him safely up in the tube. We're gonna go show the group. All right, guys, what do you think? Yo, we've been looking for him this entire time. Look at him. He's sick. Oh, man. Alright, so right now we're just gonna be transporting the rock snake back. Oh, carefully. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Thanks for doing that long Alright, cool. We got him inside safely. There's uh, no holes on the bottom, so I'm gonna carry him like that so I don't get bitten. But yeah, we're gonna transport him back. All right, y'all, so we're gonna put back this uh, now very angry Western Diamondback rock snake. I'm sure they've had a bit of a rough night, but we're gonna now loosen right back where I found him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just come back down. Oh, my bad. So hopefully now we're just gonna slither away. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. Check out that rock snake. One last look, and goodbye. Wow, well, that was not the last snake. Uh, my homie almost uh, stepped on this one. This one's probably like a two-year-old. Actually, no, I'd say maybe three-year-olds or four-years-old. Oh, uh, you know, uh, maybe like a little under half the size of the last one, but yeah, pretty cool find. Another uh, snake to end off the night. Not <coughs> pretty cool. Hey guys, uh, as we are going back, we found a uh, Western Diamondback, another one, the uh, third one of the day, pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty sick. Nice. Cool.
I'm glad I spotted it. It makes me feel better. Yeah, they get easily pissed. Easy. You're good. Go ahead. Or let him to it. Unless the car comes, we'll move him, but he seems to know what he's doing. But yeah, fourth snake of the night. It's pretty cool. He's got some nice diamond pattern right there. Awesome. He has the most contrasting diamonds look like. Yeah, huh? Or I'll gut him off. Oh, he's good. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna goat him off. Come on, andale, andale. Andale, andale. <laughs> Not get ran over. Alright, there you go. No, 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 no. Completely off the road. Get off. Alright, yeah, there you go, there you go. He's done. Cool. All right, y'all, we're back at it again. We're currently in low desert, you know? We're gonna have to see what we find. But yeah, hopefully we get some cool uh, cool wildlife, you know? So let's get it. All right, y'all, uh, first animal cruise is massive Sonoran desert toad. This thing is huge. He's probably like 10 inches tall with his legs stretched out. Holy hell. Cool. Bro. All right, guys. So we uh, we were speeding down the road. Oh, we came across this big long nose snake. Look at him. Right, hold this for you. Look at those colors: the black, the red, the white. Oh, dude. Super cool one. This is the biggest one I've ever seen too. Look at that long nose that they're named after. Ooh, let me show real quick. There you go. Her snout is like really pointed. Super cool. All right, guys, well, he's tried done uh, been getting some photographs of this guy, so now we're going to let him go. Cool. We got Jabba the Hutt showing on this road right here. Dang, look how fat you are. Now I'm playing. It means you're healthy, especially out in this harsh desert. It's a good day you're a big boy. Let's move you off the road. All right, second snake cruise. This uh, tiny little long nose. He has barely any red on him, except for on the sides. Pretty cool, actually. Also got this uh, predatory ground beetle right next to the long nose. Actually, pretty neat. I'm not sure. I think I know what the genus is, but I'm not gonna. I'm not too confident. I'll put it down in the. I'll put it on. I'll put it down in a text for this uh, shot. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, we got the uh, next snake of the night. This was a little lesson down back. It's probably about two feet long. Again, got him off the uh, dirt road. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, that's gonna be the end for this video. Stay tuned for part two. See y'all.